Welcome everybody to another episode of City Skylines Unmodded with me, Eflux. On the previous episode we were playing with both the um, agriculture industry and the art industry. We added some buildings, we organized some stuff, and uh, one of my dear viewers uh, with the nickname Wonderful Art made a very good suggestion, which is to put all the factory buildings around here. And I think it makes sense for multiple reasons. The first reason is that it's very close to a lot of, of highway. So we can connect um, the trucks or the, the factories, which generate a lot of trucks, directly to, to the main, main um, roads. And then also because it has the train lines and it's between this industry and the, the standard industry, the agricultural industry, and uh, I'm calling it standard industry, that doesn't have any speciality. And from here, ev all the trucks can access all the areas of the city. And originally I was doing it here, but uh, I think I prefer to try to put more residential and commercial buildings around here and leave this a bit... Um, a bit more empty like it is. I might put a building or two here to make this look a bit more industrial because that was my original idea. But with this, um, but with with this, uh, how do you call this? This hill here, um, and the way I'm building the roads, I think it's best to move these buildings from here to another place and. Um, figure out then later something else to put here to make this look a bit more industrial like although it's not too bad because i think the color this kind of yellowish brownish color with some parking lots and stuff i think it makes it uh, look a bit industrial but yeah it's i think it needs to be improved and wow so much people i love seeing people going around the city but yeah so that's that's the purpose of today it's to move some of the buildings that already exist here and plop them here and this is going to be a big industry hub it is a best practice <laughs> in this game because of traffic to not put all your industry close to each other because it just generates a lot of traffic but i like it and i like to deal with that uh, issue if it makes sense like here i ended up putting this kind of S kind of shaped road to serve as a buffer for the amount of trucks that exit the internal train station and try to go to the external one. It's still, it's still, you know, it's still not perfect, but it's much better. See that there's no no traffic backing up. They slow down here a bit, they wait a bit, but <coughs> they continue just fine. <coughs> Sorry. So yeah, let's do this. So I already started by extending the road, this road here to here, just to create a separation, because I don't want this area to be immediately um, connected or close to the new industry area that we are going to start building here. Yeah, and I might even put some bills on this side, but I, I want to dedicate this area to the energy, energy and water and utility stuff basically on this side, garbage and all that stuff. And here is going to be our new uh, factory. So what I want to do first is figure out where the train is going to be because I obviously want to connect this area with trains. Now I don't want to connect a train directly here because this is the external railroad and I want to keep this buffer active. And what I'm thinking is to extend this line. So this is the internal railroad. And I want to extend this line to here. I could potentially create another line and make it cross through here, which might look better for aesthetical reasons, rather than seeing an, a train line across this. If I do another one to connect here, so I could, for example, here make kind of like a, a fork you know 
and it could come under this highway. Actually, it could potentially even cross. No, it couldn't because of this road. So what I was thinking maybe is to create like a separation somewhere around here and then make it curve here and then connect somewhere around here so it look kind of like this I think it would look cool yeah so that's what I'm thinking about I also want to create some kind of bypass road which probably will be this highway this highway, this avenue so that not everybody needs to use this road so I might just start with this I create first the the, um, the layout the road layout and then and then figure out how the train is going to pass but yeah I don't think I would I will want to extend this here I think I prefer to create another parallel line to this I think it will look cooler if it's parallel rather than perpendicular I mean it's not a big a <laughs> big thing obviously but um, yeah I think I prefer that way okay so I'm going to put the red road layout and I'll be right back Yeah! Oh, we have a shipyard for the ore industry. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm just going to finish this road and then we need to go to the ore industry just to check this out because this looks cool and it is next to the water. So let's just align this road here. I think this will work okay and then I'll start yeah start figuring out where the rest goes but I wanted to create this area it helps me to visualize to first put kind of the overall area I don't think I want to put too many buildings between this the agricultural area and this future <coughs> work um, what's it called not warehouses the unique factories that's what I wanted um, yeah so I, I think I'm not going to do that meaning putting buildings between this these two areas but we'll see so for now I want to check out the shipyard specially let's take a quick look here so we have a large ore mine oh my god let's see how large is this can I squeeze this in here no I can't yeah I guess I'll have to terraform this a bit mind being a bit too curved because in the mountain it's difficult to have straight roads like this yeah I don't mind this as much because it's like this machine is carving things out from the mountain so this should be okay I will disguise this a bit though with uh, with softening yeah yeah something like this Yeah, let's unpause and see how this will 
look. Ah, there we go, guys. Trex are already using it. Yeah, I think this is good. I think it's better here on the side. Like this machine is carving all this side of the mountain. It's kind of the idea I was having. Yeah. And now we need to... Can I delete this power cables? I think I can. Because I would like to put here the arbor. What is it? Not the arbor, the shipyard. Let's see. Large ore mine. Oh, do we have one of these? Do we have one of these? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, maybe we do. It's, these are, yeah. Okay, we actually had. Okay, I leave this here for now. Because I don't think I'll need that space, but we'll see. Now let's check the shipyard. Where is it? Is this it? No? No? Where is the shipyard? No, 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 no. Is it uh, a unique factory, is it? Oh yeah, it must be because it requires multiple different resources to be built. Yeah, I reckon it must be one of these. Let's see if we can find it. Shipyard, yes. Yeah, okay. Okay. And what? Oh, we have so much. Uh, level 5 forestry. Uh, oh yeah, we, need we still have two areas to build. I was thinking about the oil industry and I completely forgot about the forestry. Okay, so I don't I don't build a shipyard here. I will need to build a shipyard. <gasps> Probably here. Yeah, because if we put all the factories here, this might be a good candidate. Can I build it there or does it need to have some kind of connection? Let's take a quick look. Uh, no, I could just build it anywhere. Although, <laughs> whatever, whichever ships we build, they wouldn't be able to pass <laughs> under this bridge. Look at how small this is. <laughs> right. What if I put... Ah, oh, can I squeeze this? I'm going to plop it just to see how it looks. Yeah, let's see just how it looks. Cool. Okay, here would be a bit more realistic because building the ship here, it could go to the ocean through here. Because, yeah. Or, no, 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 this should go next to the harbor, actually. Because I want to make this zone more industrial looking. So I will figure out a place somewhere here to put it. Right? And we have the cargo train here. Yeah, so we, the, the materials can be delivered here. I can put something like this here. Let's just take a quick look. Yeah can make this look a bit more pretty like here and this will be our shipyard oh and I can put some warehouses here for, for the materials that this guy needs and make this industry area look much better oh yes oh yes okay for now I won't do it but I think that's what I'm going to do if you guys have any suggestions about this about the location of the arbor, the shipyard, let me know. But I think this will look good with a bunch of warehouses and stuff around here. I think it will make this zone look much, much better. Okay, back here. So now the next thing is going to be the train station. I want to figure out the best place to put the train station, and uh, I'll be right back.
is it. At least for now. I got a bit of trouble trying to pass this uh, railroad under the these roads, but uh, I don't know why. Visually, it didn't look like I was um, being blocked or interfering with any of the pillars. But uh, anyway, I, c I could find a way to make it work. And I think, yeah, I think this will not cause too many problems. I don't think we will find out. However, I just remind remembered something. What if, what if these guys want to send drugs to these guys? They wouldn't have a direct route. They'd have to go here and then and then what? They wouldn't be able to turn around. So maybe I, I might actually connect this here so that they can do whatever they want. Or I can just curve this road, this uh, railroad here and connect it. Hmm. Problem is going to be too short distance unless I make this even cooler. <laughs> I create another fork here. I'm calling it fork, it's just kind of split of railroads. And then it goes from here and then it connects here. I love, I love, I really love <laughs> to see all these train tracks above ground and being busy and things. So I might, I might do just that actually. Yeah, because I don't want to create semi-circle here so it will be too short and the problem is if they get stuck I it's a big problem it's not likely the passenger trains they they can create a lot a lot of traffic really and get stuck but these cargo trains not so much yeah i think that's what i'm going to do i could also do it like this this will be the most logical way but I don't think it would look as cool. Let me check real quick to see if if it, I'm going to lose a lot of hairs because of this. Because I had a lot of trouble passing this road. Okay, this doesn't look too bad. Let's try to align this with the road. Okay. And... Um, I could do something like this actually or not mm. can I do some curvy shape like this and then another curvy shape like this okay I need to remove the snapping like this and then like this does this look too weird yeah cuz then this way the train can just curve here go under this road and I'm going to connect it here and then it can go directly here so they have a shorter connection does this look bad? it does it does <laughs> it does let's see if I can do something slightly better because it doesn't have to have a b oops let me put the snapping back on I can kinda go oh no because of this road damn it Let's see how can I make this oh 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 can this work? I think it can I mean it's a bit Yeah it's a bit tight this curve. I like to have longer curves than this, yeah. Let's try something else. Let's try something like this. Almost. What if it's uh, not not here? Can I do something like that? I can. 
Yeah, I think this is much better although this... Why? Why? I don't understand why. Did this fix it? Yeah, it did fix it. Okay. It's not too bad. It's kind of a smooth-ish curve. Yeah, I think this will work. Well, look, look, when our city is completely booming, extremely busy, the amount of trains and cars and everything, oh man, I love this movement of the city, it's just amazing stuff. Okay, let's see if now I can connect this properly here. I might be able to from like this. And then like this. Don't tell me I made it first time. Oh wow, <laughs> I'm getting good at this. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't look too bad. This actually... Yeah, look at this spaghetti. I love it. I love it because it's not just spaghetti for the sake of it. Or, or because it doesn't have any logic. It does have logic here, you know. And it doesn't have too many weird shapes and curves and it's not too steep either it's quite smooth really like it and we might even put more trains and more things crossing here <laughs> i would love that <laughs> but it has to have a purpose i'm not going to do it just for the sake of doing it but if i need another train station around here maybe for passengers or something i might even make this spaghetti more uh, more interesting but I think for now it looks cool and uh, shall I start moving some of these buildings from here oh well actually no because this episode has been going on for quite a while okay that people need picking up do I have a lot of crematories I have no crematories around here I oh, know I have one here and two here I guess they need more. Oh, these people are complaining about the noise. Okay, I can fix that by putting. Why are you complaining about the noise though? Let's take a quick look about the noise pollution. Oh, the metro creates a lot of noise. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this guy is right next to the metro. Oh, wait a second, pause. Ah, they get noise pollution, but then they get the medical clinic to heal them. Okay. Well, then it's that's that. <laughs> I don't need to worry about these peeps. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to plop another one of these. Where do they need the most? Oh, this one is full. Let's empty it. Shall I do something a bit um, perverse <laughs> and put the crematories a few next to our <laughs> green center? It technically, this is like recycling dead people, right? <laughs> oh man, this is so nasty. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, the, the ways my brain thinks. Hmm, maybe here. No, no, no. I'm not going to... I'm sadistic. I'm not going to be sadistic. I'm going to put it on a place where it actually makes sense. Which could be somewhere around here. Actually, I think I want to plop a few more of these if they fit somewhere useful. Next to the monorail. Hmm... No. Next to the schools, yes, <laughs> kids, learn, learn that life is precious, okay? Life. I think this was a, a fairly productive episode, we plopped a new building here, and I think it looks pretty cool, quite big, and we placed the foundations 
for our warehouses and for our unique factories to be placed here although I will place some warehouses somewhere in the middle of the city I think with the finalized goods like with cars and bread and whatever the unique factories produce I will place some factories around here I think a factories or warehouses yeah and then at some point we will build a shipyard somewhere around here or here we'll see but probably here makes more sense and yeah on the next episode we will start populating this putting some warehouses some unique factories here and give a bit of life to this area and see how all these road connections work this might get a, a bit busy but I might create another junction here can I? yes I can I will probably create another junction here actually in the next episode yep what is this? Ah, it's empty right let's take a quick look at the horizon see all the error messages ok it's not too bad oh I saw another one. Oh, it's empty. Okay. How can you be emptying? And okay. I'm not going to question that. Maybe, maybe we need to put a bit of this around here. No, there's two right here. Hmm. Okay. Do you need more? Shall I put a couple more here? Yeah, why not? Okay. Hopefully this will speed up the emptying of this. Oh, and we have ignoring the campus. We should be putting more There's so many things to do in this city still. But yeah, one, th one thing at a time. First, first we need this area to be developed and uh, that's going to be on the next episode thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again very very soon bye